Okay, a few updates is um, I got this very long, I got two extension cords for the solar panels so I can put them over here in the prime location and uh, it won't get as much shadow on it throughout the day. The other thing is I got that little weather station up there. Uh, it's on a flight pole that I can just um, unloosen and bring down. So I just set the flight pole up today. Before that I had a tripod for a camera uh, where I would set it out back. The problem is that you can see it's uh, just below the fence or right at the fence. So I think wind's affected by that and maybe temperature. Um, so hopefully that gets a bit more accurate being up in the air. And I chose to have it there because um, it's it's uh, farthest away from the closest trees in that position. So you don't want trees slowing down your wind. Alright, I'm going to show you what I see on the inside. Uh, they give you a little monitoring station. And they get, have all kinds of cool information here. And this, this communicates with the, the weather station outside and then I also get up to my Wi-Fi. So, bing, right there. And that gets me information on weather underground. Um, you have to use an app on your phone to set up the Wi-Fi and, um, and the different websites. A lot of the websites are very, well, there's like four websites one was fairly easy, it just worked. But then uh, one Weather Underground worked just fine. The other ones were very difficult. One I still can't figure it out. But Weather Underground seems to be the one that I use the most. And basically, if your weather station is very good in how precise it is, you'll see a little badge up here that says, hey, this is good quality results. Um, and it'll do that after five days of good results. Mine started out with good results and then it went away. So uh, I figured I should probably try and improve its accuracy. So I lifted it up higher off the ground with that flagpole. And they give you all kinds of graphs here, wind direction, they can detect gusts, uh, pressure, temperature. But the main reason I got that station was it has um, solar radiation detection and UV detection. I wanted to see if the solar radiation uh, measured up close to the results that I'm getting with my website that I'm doing for the, uh, the do-it-yourself solar. Uh, I have to actually get a full day uh, written out here so I can compare the two. This is just the past hour and so you can see in the past hour my solar went up a little bit and not much. So. It's like, I don't know if you can, you can see that pattern or not, uh, but if I get a full day's worth, then, I can, then it'll be easier to compare patterns. And uh, I've been looking at my neighbor's weather station. He's, he's fairly close. And uh, the two temperatures and pressure readings seem to be fairly close in relation to each other. So uh, that's been fun. All right, so I'll I'll get back to the uh, solar stuff soon. Um, right now, because of the daylight saving time, uh, there's a lot less uh, daylight, especially when I am done with work. It's already dark out, so I don't really do much during the week. And this weekend, I've been busy with uh, this guy Teddy, so he needs a lot of attention. But uh, I'll, get, I'll get back on it. I still have a lot of things I'm working on. And uh, you'll see that pretty soon.